right Chris back with Misty and we are gonna work on our body this is the first time around so let's tighten up just a little on Misty and some things that I want to discuss with you first is you know you got to get this coat in condition for clipping a lot of these schnauzers um, have very thick plump coats and if you just jump in there with the clipper right away what's going to happen is they are going to um, build up dead hair in their common opening and a lot of times they'll get blackheads or better known as the schnauzer crud but you can see how easily that comes out and this is the area that seems to break out the worst because this is where the hair is the thickest okay is right down the dorsal area right down the spine there's more hair per common opening than anywhere else in the dog's body all right because the back needs the most protecting all right but just make sure that you spend a couple minutes for the health of the coat and if you don't have this much coat to work with then go ahead and use a carding tool and remove at least a little dead hair now when i'm removing coat i like to outline first and i want to get rid of most of this coat down to the elbow now i chose a half inch universal comb backwards because this gives a very natural appearance you know one of the things that people have this misperception is that you know when the owners say i want my schnauzer short you know when if they knew that you were hurting the dog's skin by going ultra short on the back they probably wouldn't have you do it and quite honestly they don't shed a lot and they don't mat on their body if anything needs to be taken shorter it's their chest and their legs okay so just remember that if you keep cutting their body super short they're going to end up with the schnauzer crud or the blackheads because you they can't shed naturally all right so by leaving a little bit more coat you're going to create a much healthier skin and coat not to mention a better overall outline of the dog okay so that's the front i followed the point of shoulder got rid of some of that bulk and then i'm doing the same thing with the rear from the ilium to the ischium i'm going to take the top of that tail off as well and just follow my line okay you can see how nice and easy that comes off and then what i'm going to do after i get most of this off then i can go back make sure that my blending line is where it needs to be and all that stuff but first i got to get my my rear angle and stuff set okay so that's that